So happy it's Thursday. Hey, they ought to make an acronym out of that. Every day of the week, you'll find a different theme on the video. Monday is a special place in the United States I've either visited or look forward to visiting. Tuesday is a public speaking tip. Wednesday is about the life of a solopreneur. And today, Thursday, we're talking about my public speaking influences. I have to give you a little bit of a spoiler. One special place in my heart in the United States of America is Laurel, Maryland. I won't talk all about it right now, that's for a future video, but that's where I went to the Defense Information School to become a combat correspondent for the Marines. That's where the military trains all of its public affairs professionals at the Defense Information School. At the end of the journalist course, they take you to a field training exercise, the simulated... At the end of the course, we do a field training exercise where for two days we're in a simulated forward combat environment in a tent where we have to do all the reporting remotely and we have to handle all kinds of media inquiries and, and press briefings and anytime a general comes along we have to brief. It's really exciting. Of course we were completely lost. That's the whole point of the exercise. We're answering the phone there in the next tent saying, yeah, um, we're from CNN. We need to know who's winning the war. We have to play along. One call changed my life. I pick up the phone and good morning, I'm Forward Public Affairs. Hey, this is W something or other from Philadelphia. How you doing out there? Can you tell me who's winning the war? And, uh, um, uh, <laughs> this private first class does not know. That's why you need to show confidence before you pick up rank. I always say of the 14 Marine Corps leadership traits, decisiveness is number one. Integrity is the first thing, but the highest is decisiveness, and I failed to show that. Your ability to adapt to your audience, to your environment, and to the questions that people have make the difference between talking and speaking and giving a presentation. If I had done it differently, I'd say, Philadelphia, hey, I'm from Long Island. I've driven through Philly a couple of times. If it's an upbeat, excited DJ, give his energy right back to him. What kind of station are you? You a hip hop station, a rock station? Oh, you're a rock station, can I request a song? In fact, in the debrief afterwards, they, who got the call from the radio DJ? I'm like, <laughs> that was me. He said, well, what would you do differently? I said, could I request a song? I said, absolutely. If you ever get put in a situation as a speaker where you feel a little bit awkward or maybe somebody's confronting you, use their energy. Public speaking is two-way communication. How much are you including and involving your audience in the presentations you give? If you're giving a presentation or if you've given one recently and you felt like it was just one-way communication, like you're talking to a two-way mirror, there are ways to fix that. Hop on my calendar, 30 minute complimentary conversation will probably fix most of your problems in that two way communication with your audience. Don't be shy, answer the call because you are on the air.